they didn't even tell me that I was no longer employed. Like the hardest thing to do in the day, the hardest thing to do was waking up and going to that job. Always trust, always believe, always be patient that the best for you is still unfolding and is going to come to fruition. Hi everyone, my name is Kuzini Koma Pia and on this channel, I do videos about my life living here in Australia and I also share different life lessons that I've learned along the way. So in this video today, I'm going to be sharing a life lesson, something that I have learned from a very difficult situation that I had to face and I just want to step through that situation with you and let you know what I've managed to learn from it. So I got fired from my job. And for me, that was one of the hardest things that I've had to face because the person that I am, I like to do things well. When I do something, I always like you know give it a really good shot i like to give my all in almost everything that i do and when i don't succeed i don't take it very well because i am extremely hard on myself harder than anyone can ever be on me i am very hard on myself so when i feel like i haven't done something well i you know i feel very crushed by that so I'm going to share with you a story time. So this is something that happened to me in one of the first jobs that I had here in Australia. And just to step you through what that job was, um, the job that was, I was actually doing was when I was at university and I was doing, it was a direct marketing job where you sell a product to people face to face, you market that product. And the, the role is about convincing people to buy the product so that the company makes money. So you sell to people on like, it was on a one-on-one -on -one face to face like basis. So what would happen is we would be given a location where we would meet and it was usually at a shopping center. So you know one of you know those people at the shopping center when you're shopping and they're trying to, you know, get in your way, say, excuse me, have you heard about this? But so that was me. That was the job that I was doing. I was working at different shopping centers selling a product. It was a tutoring, like it was like a tutoring product. It was a a computer product that we were selling to parents that was going to help them with tutoring their kids so what would happen is would get the location would meet in the city as a team it was usually a team of three people we would meet in the city and then would go to that location together would set up and work our shift for you know the full day and it was usually maybe six to eight hours that we would work in the shopping center. And then after that, we'll finish the day. And you, we had a minimal like base salary and we would get a commission depending on how many products we decided we had managed to sell. On another shift, I came to work and then, you know, the team leader, the supervisor, he sent us the text message in the morning. We're going to meet in the city and go to whatever shopping mall. We got to the bus stop. We are taking the bus to that mall because I think it was just easier with like parking and stuff, I think. But we took the bus. So we met at the bus stop in the city and he looked at me like up and down. Like he just looked at me and he's like, I don't like what you're wearing. Like you don't look professional. Can you go back home and change? What you were wearing yesterday was better. Go and wear the clothes you were wearing yesterday. 
Mind you, those clothes were now in the laundry basket. <laughs> so I went and he's like, you will join us at the shopping center. So I went, took a bus back home, went to take the clothes I was wearing the previous day, came back to work. It was so embarrassing. Like, you know, when you know that you're working with the same people and they're seeing you in the same clothes that you're wearing the previous day, like it's, I didn't feel very fresh. I had been working all day. Like they were in the laundry basket for a reason. And I don't know why he said like, go wear the clothes you're wearing yesterday. And I think at that time I was so young and naive that I didn't even think to like challenge that and say, why do I have to wear the clothes I was wearing yesterday? I just did what I was told and I went and I put on the same clothes and yeah, went back to work for another day of zero sales. And by this time, I think the supervisor was getting very annoyed at me because he would come and check in during the day. Like how many sales have you made? How many sales have you made? I'm like, no sales. And then he would, so he wanted me to, he was saying like, you know, you need to try harder. And I, I thought at this point I was trying my best. And when I would go to my lunch break, like five minutes before my break was finished, I had a 30 minute break. So I had to like walk to the food court of the shopping center and five minutes before my break was due to finish, he would call me on the phone and he's like, are you done eating? You should be making your way back now. Oh my goodness. I was, I was like, can I get a break? Like, can't I can't even eat. <laughs> so I just had to like, you know, hurry and eat my food and walk back there before the 30 minutes was over and then do it all over again. And you know, I still didn't make any sales and that's when I got fired and how I got fired was they didn't even tell me that I was no longer employed. Basically I didn't get the text message for the meeting place for the next day because they didn't tell us, they wouldn't tell us like the day prior. We'll just meet in the city somewhere and say, well, we're meeting here. And then they'll say, okay, we're going to this mall, we're going to this mall. So I waited in the morning and I didn't get a text message. And I'm like, that's weird. Like, where are we meeting? I called the guy, the supervisor. I'm like, I didn't get the text message this morning. He's like, oh, don't worry. We don't need you today. I'm like, okay, cool. Didn't go. And then next day I didn't get a text message. And he's like, I called, I'm like, where are we going today? And he's like, oh, don't worry, we don't need you today. I'm like, okay. And by the third day, I just realized that, okay, they don't need me at this workplace anymore. I'm basically fired. Like, you know, I've made no sales and I'm not generating any money for this company. So that's how I got fired. That's how I found out that I was fired. So they didn't even have like the just courtesy of just telling me that, hey, you know, because of these reasons, you're no longer employed or we don't need you to come anymore. It just, I just kind of figured it out that, you know, I've been fired. But I remember at that time, even the base salary that I was getting with no commission was kind of helping me to get by. So just getting cut off like, like that to me was a bit of a financial struggle for me. And every day I didn't go to work was a reminder of why I was, I wasn't going, that I was fired, that I didn't perform at the same level as everyone else. I couldn't figure out why, like people are buying from all these people. You'd hear some people are making 20 sales. I'm like, how? Like I can't even make a single sale. And I remember just feeling very, very low, but after that job, reflecting on that situation, there's some really, really like important life lessons that I learned from that situation that I would love to share. The first lesson is it made me realize what I was good at and the things that I wasn't good at. I am not good at direct sales. I do not enjoy direct sales. And one thing about me that I've noticed is if I don't enjoy something, it's hard for me to be good at that thing. Like I can, like I can get by for some things, but then it just, it's limited. It just gets to a point where I just don't even have the strength to keep going with it. 
and it made me realize that this is not my strong area and I remember when I used to go to that job waking up going to work felt like like the hardest thing to do in the day the hardest thing to do was waking up and going to that job because I disliked the work that I was doing and it felt like after each and every shift life had literally been sucked out of me I felt so drained I felt so demotivated that like I was trying to rationalize why I kept going to this place because at that time I needed the money and it taught me the second thing is even if you need the money try your hardest to find something that you at least enjoy doing or at least can stand doing because the struggle of having to show up to a workplace having to show up to a job where you don't enjoy the work where you know that that's not your passion where you know that that's not your strong point is very very crushing the third thing i learned is sometimes god really helps you get out of situations in order to redirect you because after that job i managed to get better higher paying jobs that i enjoyed more and if I had continued being in this job even if I had started selling and getting my sales up I wasn't going to be satisfied I wasn't going to be happy and the money that I thought I was getting that was good was not even as good as it was going to get I, and I wouldn't have known that if I was stuck in that environment so I learned to appreciate and I think this is the biggest life lesson that I drew from that I learned to appreciate things just as they are I learned to accept situations as they are and know that there is a higher purpose behind everything that happens in our lives no matter how painful it is and at that time I was devastated I was embarrassed I felt bad I was like beating myself up like why couldn't you do this like you had a good job like you know if, like I just I couldn't get past the fact that I got fired from a job even if it was a job that I didn't enjoy but you know everything that happens happens for a reason and I wouldn't have found the next step if that other step had not been removed for me so literally I feel like the universe works together to redirect me to say you know what we're probably not going to quit this job you're not probably not gonna you know say that this is not for me because you really want to do well at it but you know it doesn't suit you you know it's killing your soul you know it's draining your energy but you keep going let's help you out a little bit and actually remove you from that situation and I thought that's what happened for me at that time so I was really really redirected and after reflecting on that situation and when I look at where I am now in my life I'm like wow I can't believe I was sad about that job I can't believe that I was sad about that situation but one thing about situations is you never realize like it's hard to see the light when you're in the darkness like it's hard to see the light when you're in the midst of a difficult situation and I just wanted to share this with anyone who might be going through something that they feel is unfair something that they feel is frustrating something that they feel is draining or is killing their soul and they can't you know you just can't figure out why is this happening to me why can't I get this right why isn't this working out for me trust me things happen for a higher purpose and things everything is working out for your good so don't worry even if you don't see the light even if you don't see the reason at this time trust me from what I've learned from many situations that I've gone through life one thing I know is that after some time once you have healed you will be able to reflect back and understand and see the purpose that that situation served even if you can't see it now so always trust always believe always be patient that the best for you is still unfolding and is going to come to fruition no matter how things look like at the present the present moment doesn't define your future the present moment doesn't define your identity and the present moment doesn't define your potential you have so much more in you and when I started to do other jobs that were more challenging like I was walking like 
doing a job that wasn't very like mentally challenging or anything but I thought at that time this was a very difficult job. I've gone on to do many other harder jobs that have required so much more of me and done so much better than I did at that job. So I started to see that that, that job was not a defining like factor of who I am as a person or what my potential is or how I am as an employee or as a worker or whatever. It doesn't define just one situation. It was just there to teach me a few things that I needed to learn about the world and about myself that I reflect on and I need to take and move on and use in the next situation. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone who is in a tough situation and they don't know how to navigate it or they're not feeling very hopeful or they're feeling like a failure like I felt when I lost that job or you're feeling like you know you're beating yourself up always be kindly to yourself always encourage yourself and know that you know the best is yet to come and what's coming ahead of you is going to be way greater than what you have left behind you Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.